Hello viewers, here is a Dell Dimension computer. This is a model 3000 with a Celeron processor. It came with the Microsoft Windows XP Home Home Edition. And I gave $20 for this thing, probably a bit too much. It came with this seemingly overly complicated keyboard and this outrageous mouse one power cord I sourced that one from something else and then it came with uh, PS2 uh, USB to PS2 adapter I guess this is the receiver for this keyboard and mouse and curiously enough the mouse is PS2 but the keyboard is USB that's strange anyway so there's that oh unless unless this is just power and then this is the I don't know anyways no, it wouldn't be because that's where they had this. Regardless, so there's those peripherals. Here's the monitor, which needs to be cleaned. They wanted $25 for it originally. Um, this was all sitting out in the rain, so I don't know if any of this is going to work or not. It should work, I suspect, because I didn't plug it in when I got it home, so it's had some time to dry out. Let's start with the monitor and see if that works. The computer, I suspect, will have no problem because uh, these dimensions were pretty much indestructible. And I've heard plenty of stories where they're outside in the rain and the weather and they still work just fine. Let's plug in the screen. Nothing exploded yet, so that's a good sign. Looks like it works. Or the display panel works. I don't know if the inputs work. That's still to be determined. Okay, so since that's working, let's take a look inside the computer here and see what we have. Not too dirty. The hard drive is still there, which is not good. Uh, because uh, I'm sure they didn't delete any information off of it. There's only one stick of RAM. I would guess it's a 256 stick. I can't really see. Um, hmm. Yeah, I can't read it from this angle. It's too small. If it even says it, I don't even know if it says it on there. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Two f okay, yeah, it is a 256, and that's it. It's all it's got. Um, it has some kind of a card down here. It's like a modem card. And that's it. As is typical with these dimensions, they didn't ship with enough memory. And that really was the fate of them because a lot of people tossed them out because 256 megabytes of memory, you know, was okay in, in you know, 2002, but when you get into 2005, 2006, 2007, 256 is not much. And a lot of these ran pretty slow if you were doing stuff on the internet because there just wasn't enough memory. So, let's get this plugged in. I will plug in this crazy keyboard, I guess. I don't have a standard keyboard down here at the moment. Well, I do, but it's plugged into the other computer. I don't want to mess with that right now. Um, I think, just for purposes of safety of the other peripherals, I'll plug it in without the peripherals connected first. Okay. Drive came up, everything's fine. Okay, so I'll plug this stuff in now. I don't quite understand what they were doing with this 
adapter, but I'll put it back the way it was. I've never found those USB to PS2 adapters to work that well. Or no, rather the PS2 to USB or whatever, I don't know, one of them. I tried to use them before and I just never found it to work that well. Uh, let's see here, on. Oh, I think the batteries are out of charge. They're probably door so. Oh, they're not door so. They are quite old. These are inner so. Radio Shack branded. I remember these when they came out. They were new. Sold them at Radio Shack. These batteries are probably 15 years old or more. And it looks like there's a slight bit of corrosion starting there. But not bad for the age. Really no leakage on the batteries to speak of. I gotta get some different batteries for this and see if it'll work. We have to clean that up before it'll work. Probably we should just do that anyways. That should suffice for now. This is all sticky. I can't really fathom I'd ever use this. Okay, that appears to be on now. Let's see what the keyboard is doing. There's a lot of buttons on this keyboard, oh my goodness. Where is the power button? Oh gosh, it's got Duracell batteries in it. Wow, they're not leaked. It's a miracle. These expired in 2012. Therefore, original equipment only. Okay. Um, it says 2005, 2006 on the top. So this very well may be the original set of batteries that went into this keyboard. So I'll put new ones in there. Okay, now the battery indicator is on. And now it's off. Hopefully the keyboard is still on. Okay, let's power up the computer. Now oh, that left a sticky residue on there. Okay, it's going to do its ID configuration thing. I should have cleaned the screen before we started. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if this is interfacing. Okay, it sounds like there's a CD in here. So let's get that out. AT&T Yahoo High Speed Internet. That's got to be pretty old. And that's empty. Alright, I'm not sure which Windows XP it's going into, but it's going into one of them. actually got going surprisingly quickly. There's two accounts on here. So the mouse is working. I don't know if the keyboard is working. No password. It's actually going along a lot quicker than I would have expected it to.
Mecca Free. Ugh, what a junky program. I can't believe it's working that well with that thing on there. Oh my goodness. See, we're already suffering from lack of memory. There's like nothing but bloatware on this computer. <laughs> SBC self-support tool, AT&T Yahoo, AT&T Yahoo Online, Microsoft Works is okay. Missing Installer Online Security Guide Net Zero Quick Help Security Troubleshooting Virus Protect Free 3 HP Director Share the Web Upload Folder Antivirus Gold Virus Rescue Dial Up Connection Net Zero Internet Exploder AT&T Yahoo Messenger I remember that uh, Yahoo Messenger thing New Folder Every antivirus program on the planet is running on this computer. <laughs> this is awful. And why did I throw it out? See, the physical memory is already fully used up. And there's nothing running but antivirus programs. Which, of course, is problematic. Let's see if we can close out of some of these. I don't think it'll let me get rid of the processes. Uh. Oh no! It's infected! Worm.win3, okay. Yeah, I don't know if I believe this. Trojan Click, Spywad, Adware Poos, Win32, Trojan Click. Yeah, no thanks. This one looks like it has the same. <laughs> it's the same things. Either these actually work and that's on the computer, or that's just a set thing that it displays just to display it. I tend to believe the latter. Alright, let's see if we can quit out any of these things here. Exit. 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 Updates are ready. Exit. Yes. What is that? Web Virus Protection Pro. Yes. Now there's some memory available. Uh, let's do a run here. I explore uh, MS config. Looks like the keyboard is working. And we're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of all those.
Okay, and you got a blank folder on the desktop. Nothing in the recycling bin except for that folder. Let's see how big the hard drive is. Um, so uh, probably a 40 gigabyte. Hmm, there's not much on here. I wonder if they reinstalled this recently. A couple of pictures. It's a good car. Some kind of a clip fan or whatever there. Old television set. Looks like that may be the remains of an old television set. This looks like it was AOL's knockoff of the web browser. I doubt that will still work. Customer. Hmm. 2.6 gigahertz, that's not bad. This needs more RAM. All the drivers is there. Let's see when this was installed. Ninety six megabytes of video memory. It's got an Intel graphics controller of some kind. 
828-65G graphics controller. Not sure why the background just disappeared. Did I do that? That's fine. Hmm, the background picture disappeared. That's like something Windows 10 would do. Alright, let's see here. All 2005, so it disappears like it could be the original image, and the last one's 07. So this started in 2005. 256 megabytes of memory. Not, I mean it. It was an okay amount, but it really wasn't great in 2005. Let's take a look at that other account and see if there's anything of interest in there. No password. Nothing in this account. It looked like there was two versions of Windows XP in here, so I want to see if we have two partitions on the drive. Doesn't look like it. That other one must just be a goof. I've seen that before, where sometimes it'll show two, two uh, installs, and there really isn't a second install. Okay, well I guess they did clean off the computer relatively well, other than those pictures which didn't seem to really have any personal information. So that's that, it works just fine. Um, a lot of the stuff I'm sure doesn't work anymore, it's on here. But the computer itself works okay. Microsoft works. And when it comes to things like word processing, for instance, or emails, these computers are totally adequate still. I mean, this thing is flying around, no problem. It's not hanging up or, or being slow, whatever, at all in a word processor here. Um, and there's plenty of other offline things that you can still use these computers for. Now, granted, offline use is kind of becoming a lost art as so many different things move to internet based and that's a shame uh, but you know I do a lot of word processing myself and so I'll always have a use for an offline word processor on a computer like this uh, so let's cut this thing off and now I'm going to turn it back on and we'll try to go into that other installation of Windows I tend to think it'll be blank or it just won't work or whatever Yeah, I think that's just like a, a dud install for whatever reason it's on there. Let's just check the startup time again now that I've cleared out some of those other things from the startup configuration. <laughs> the 
that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I see a lot of computers that come off the shelf that don't work as fast as this do. That probably wasn't even a minute from BIOS to desktop. Not bad. Really is a shame that they didn't put more memory in these computers because these were good machines and they lasted. They lasted a long time. Alright, well I think that's all there is for this one. Um, I don't know if we'll do any more videos of this computer, but I'm sure I will probably get some use out of it.